So I've been driving a 2014 BMW 520D for the past three years. And in the past three years, it's been a great car. I've had a lot of fun in it, a lot of memories in it. I've driven really fast in it and it has been nothing but reliable. But recently I feel like my car is getting old. I want to see whether it's worth spending double this car's worth on a brand new BMW 5 Series, the G30 generation. So that car is a hybrid, this car isn't. That car is an M Sport, this car is not an M Sport. And this car is a diesel, that car is a petrol. So we have this 530E here that we are gonna test out today. We are gonna compare it to my car and see whether it's worth upgrading from an F10 to the G30. If you already have the F10, should you upgrade to the G30? Or if you're looking at options, should you just pay half the price and go for the F10? Or should you pay double and get the G30? So let's find out. Okay, so we are driving this 530E in the max E drive setting and it's so smooth. Let the go of the gas, the car will automatically go to this thing. You feel the car braking for you, kind of. Charge the batteries. The suspension in, the, in this car uh, feels so much better to me than my own 520D. It's so much firmer and uh, it feels so much better. The interior looks amazing. The steering wheel feels amazing. There's such a big uh, gap in how many years they apart they made these cars. Uh, I think they came out with the F10 around 2011 and they came out with this car maybe 2018, 2019. So there's like a seven year gap. Of course, technology has evolved by a lot since then. I've been driving the car for uh, for I think five or six kilometers now on max E drive and so far it's still saying 19 kilometers left. I want to see how this car handles different compared to my car. Of course both of these cars are stock. My car is stock. You may think that it's not but it's stock. It's on stock suspension, stock like I haven't touched the engine at all or anything. And this car is also stock, it even looks stock. Let me know down below how many times did I say stock. Okay, I think I like, I feel like the engine just came on. Makes a combined power of, I think, to around 250 horsepower. And my car is around 184 horsepower. Quite a difference, especially because this car has that instant torque from the electric motors. And my car is a single turbo diesel. So that alone makes it feel so much faster and I'm pretty sure off the line this car would beat the shit out of my car because of that. The initial pickup feels really good. With every generation it feels like BMW is dampening the steering wheel like disconnecting you from the road even more you know. Uh, this steering feel I don't like it because it's like it's too soft and there is no connection between you and the road. Okay, the engine I think just came on. It's faster than my car. Should I get this or should I just stick to my own car? Yeah. It's very clean and it's very smooth. Yeah, definitely. You should if you can afford it, you go for it. It's, it's a great option. You will also be very, very happy with the F10. Keep that in mind when you want to make your decision. Obviously, this car is double the price. If you can afford it, I think you can go for it. If you want to see a full review of this car, it's coming up my on my channel next week, so make sure to stick around. Hit the subscribe button and the notification button so that you won't miss that video. I will be doing a full review of this car uh, in an upcoming episode. So stick around for that. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you in the next one.
Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, please.